So it's, um, it's a fundamental business practice uh, for a business to have this ambition uh, to deliver on shareholder value. And uh, there are three key uh, imperatives there. Uh, the first one is an obvious one, uh, improve revenues. Every shareholder wants to see that. And then there uh, is a fixation on reducing costs. There has to be. And then, of course, the most important aspect uh, would be to deliver a, a seamless, intuitive uh, experience to customers. Industry 4.0 is a follow-on to Industry 1.0, which was around mechanization. Industry 2.0 was around mass production. And Industry 3.0 was about the computerization era uh, recently. Now we're in Industry 4.0, which talks about automation and digital uh, technologies deployed into a company to give you uh, efficiencies and effectiveness that would help you be better competitive in your market. This has been uh, a tremendous uh, invention and innovation of technologies that probably could have uh, begun earlier during the computerization age, but has now become uh, a, a common theme throughout companies throughout the world. South African companies are taking advantage of this and are deploying this in their environment. Most analysts are saying that Industry 4.0 gives companies the advantage of being agile in the marketplace. To, to BCX, we agree with that point of view. The point is though, how do you embark on a Industry 4.0 or digital strategy? What are the key steps that you've got to follow in order to embrace this technology and help your business win in the marketplace? Looking at most of the approaches uh, from cons uh, consultants in the field, there are four key themes that are needed. First of all, you got to have a digital transformation strategy that any and most consultants could assist you to do that. And that would imply how you would deploy the technologies within your environment to derive these benefits. The second objective that you got to achieve is that you have to look at your infrastructure, your IT infrastructure and your landscape today. It's got to be what we call digital ready. It's got to be automated, it's got to be standardized, it's got to be optimized and it's got to be uh, ready for your employees and your customers to use that technology. The third most important component of any strategy is that to deploy digital uh, technologies in a company you need a budget. You need to define what that budget is going to be used for and how you would benefit from the deployment of those technologies. And of course, last but not least, is you need bold leadership. You need the CE suite of your company to embrace the strategy and deploy it. They almost need a bimodal mindset. That means on the one end, you're gonna have predictable uh, solutions that you will deploy, but at the same time, you will deploy experiential type technologies that may not work. And this bimodal mindset will help you to embrace these technologies. So let's talk about the reality of putting Industry 4.0 into play. So we spoke about this bimodal mindset. Uh, the two things, they're quite easy to, to achieve. It's very easy, dead simple, to create this overarching uh, transformation strategy to put this uh, Industry 4.0 initiative into play. Uh, we think it's also equally easy to get the CEO on board and get the leadership to actually lead something like this. What is not so easy is once you get into the execution phase is uh, to actually get this thing started and properly funded. Uh, two things there. The first thing is what you probably find in most cases is that inside of organizations you have lots of archaic legacy technology that is very, very difficult to transform. So that's the first thing. The second thing is the, the cost of running all of that stuff, all of the old legacy uh, in, in many organizations takes up about 70% of the IT budget. And that's just to keep the lights on. So uh, a very difficult thing to do. How do you actually then fund something like this? Uh, at BCX, we've been doing this for a number of years. So even though we found in many cases that the IT running costs are upward of 70%, we found a way to work with our customers as partners to reduce those costs and actually use the savings 
over a period of time, in most cases three years, and actually dial down those costs from 70 to 60 to 50 percent, and the ensuing savings then get reinvested. So that's a much easier business case to follow, still achieve the same outcome, and now there's no need for an organization to consider what gets put on the back burner. So there's no need for companies then to trade off one project for another. I think the important thing to keep in mind is that this is not purely about cost cutting. Uh, I'm certain that most CIOs out there have already exhausted uh, every possible avenue uh, to reduce costs. So that's not what we're talking about. Uh, but if there are customers out there uh, who haven't yet embarked on the journey, we can talk about uh, shared responsibility, uh, shared delivery models, because that has some exciting opportunities for um, reducing cost. Something to think about uh, for the future, for some customers at least. Um, on the point of optimizing IT infrastructure, there's some important things to keep in mind. We've mentioned before standardization, we've mentioned automation, integration, uh, and uh, especially on the point of automation, uh, there is a little bit of investment required there. So some automation software needs to be implemented, something we can, we can do and speak to customers about uh, achieving and, and a manner of imp uh, implementing that. Um, we found that where we've worked with customers where we've implemented uh, this aspect of automation, very quickly they've started seeing the, a, a reduction in headcount. That obviously comes with uh, an excellent uh, uh, reduction opportunity to reduce uh, manpower costs. Uh, so, so, so that's something we've been able to, to effect with customers and then really, really uh, in a certain manner bring down costs uh, year on year. So the, the aspects we would cover would be uh, cloud computing, uh, IoT, Internet of Things, uh, robotics is an important one, uh, mechanization, especially with our manufacturing customers, manufacturing execution systems, uh, we've been doing that with quite a few customers, uh, and then augmented reality, and uh, of course all of this needs to have a, a very carefully crafted business case. And then there are two things that we need to keep in mind to, to implement this, one really has to focus on training, and change management. Without those two aspects very carefully handled, uh, projects like this sometimes are not successful. So that's something uh, we're really keen to talk to customers about. Another competency of BCX is that we help companies to deploy digital strategies. We've done it for many years with some companies, some oil companies, some mining companies, where we've deployed industrial IT in IIT and manufacturing execution systems, which is in the front line of those businesses and keeping those operations going 24 by 7. The deployment of newer technologies like uh, sensors and robotics, uh, doing analytics on data, uh, is a competency that we have today and we can assist you therefore to take that free cash that you've just freed up from your run operations on your legacy systems and deploy the newer technologies based on your digitalization strategy. We can do that today. We have helped many clients to derive the business benefits. We don't do it simply for technology's sake. We build a business case to tell you what benefits you could derive either improving your revenue or lowering your costs uh, over a period of time once you have these technologies deployed or the analytics done on a certain process of your environment. An important thing to consider is uh, why BCX? So uh, if you consider our full end-to-end -end value chain, uh, the entire ecosystem, from the time we sit down with customers and conceive an overarching uh, strategy to take customers on this digital transformation journey, uh, to the point where we actually develop the program of work, uh, to the point where we're able to connect our customers with a whole array of uh, techpreneurs that we have in our ecosystem uh, who specialize in some of these aspects uh, we've mentioned, uh, the high tech uh, capability. Uh, we're able to provide that full value chain to help our customers transform their business. So we think BCX is quite unique uh, in that respect.